Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about year three for our 2016 draft class. This is serious. Capmo time, baby. All right, so um, let's take a look at the slide here real quick. So we're talking about the 2016 draft class and why is year three big. So just, you know, just looking through this here real quick. Zeke, Jalen, Malik, Charles Tapper, Prescott, Anthony Brown, Kavon Frazier, uh, Darius, and, and Rico Gathers. All right, so... Year three, this is typically when you want to see a player really cement himself as a cornerstone player, somebody that you're going to, you know, possibly give them a second contract. All right, so year three is huge. Year three is big for Ezekiel Elliott because he needs to stay clean, he needs to stay out of the limelight, nothing negative, be focused. And, um, you know, that way if it comes down to it next year in the offseason, the Cowboys – they'll give him the fifth year option, you know, uh, possibly, you know, that is an option. With first round picks, you have the fifth year option. So depending on how they're going to attack the cap, whenever these uh, contracts for the 2016 draft class come up, you know, that's going to, that's going to be a big thing for Zeke. So got to have a good year. Jalen Smith last year was his de facto uh, rookie year. So, uh you know, he didn't accrue any, any time for his first year. He was pretty much on IR. Um, but uh, big year for him, too. We got to see what he does. Uh, it's been reported that he is able to lift his foot up and down a lot more. The drop foot is going away. And so I'm looking for him to, to, be, to take another step here. He finished the season strong. I really like how he finished the season, you know, and uh, I'm expecting big things from him. We know that Jalen is is a consummate pro. He's gonna go up. He's gonna go and attack the off season with everything he has. Uh, he proved it. And uh, year three is gonna be big for him. You know, Are, is he gonna be improving enough to where we don't have to worry about drafting another middle linebacker or another linebacker high to replace him if things things don't work out? So we got to see it. We got to see it early. All right. So. The other guy here, Malik Collins, you know, kind of had a not so he didn't have a quite a big of a uh, season this past year, but uh, you know it's gonna be big for him too. Everybody outside of the first round is on a four-year contract. Um, Jalen, Malik Collins, Tapper. Now right, let's talk about Tapper. So Tapper. Uh, <laughs> He just too injury prone, man. He's got the first quick step, and that's all we ever hear about him. All right, um, just I don't think he's gonna be a player for us, man. I mean, it's you know you don't want to give up on a player, but sometimes you see enough from somebody, and and you know which way their career is gonna show up. So Charles Tapper, I think they'll give him another shot in training camp. If he doesn't stay healthy and can't get on the field, he's probably gone. Dak Prescott, all right? This is the big one. Year three. Um, we got to see it, you know, and, and I think this is part of the Dak friendly, you know, theme of the off season. If they want to know if, if, if Dak Prescott is going to be that franchise quarterback past his rookie contract to give him a second contract and to say, Hey, you're the guy, man, you're the franchise guy. You're going to be here for 10 years. All right. They have to know right now, you know, because, um, if he has another kind of up and down season, um, you know, you're going to, you, you kind of have to step back and go, uh Oh, are we going to have to turn around and, and invest another pick here in 2019 at quarterback? We don't want to do that. You know, we need to find out for sure. So give Dak Prescott the clean pocket, invest in the left guard, get you some swing tackles, uh, because you know, Tyron Smith will probably miss time again. So, um, Give him the clean pocket. Get him receivers. Get a better number two. Um, I think Dez will be fine if you get him a, a better number two. I think that's all it comes down to. Uh, but whatever they do, they got to get... If they want to know what Dak is going to be, give him his weapons, all right? Give him stuff that he can work with, all right? And Scotland Hand, they got to get that playbook together, man. They got to fix that. It was garbage last season. Straight garbage, man. Too predictable. Junky play calls. The jet sweeps. Uh, just that sort of stuff, man. Just crap. 
Anthony Brown, <clears throat> we got to see what he's going to be. All right. So kind of had a sophomore slump kind of season, kind of up and down kind of season. Um, kind of got demoted a little bit, but uh, injuries, you know, threw him back in the starting lineup. Kevon Frazier is an interesting prospect. I like what he gives us in run defense, special teams, obviously. Um, I'm leaning towards this is a guy I'm going to want to keep. And I think this is a guy Chris Richard is really going to like. Uh, I'm excited to see what how they utilize him, you know. Big hitter. I mean, he's the one that knocked out Rico Gathers in the preseason. You know, gave him the concussion, jacked up his jaw. He's a big hitter. Uh, <clears throat> good player, man. So we'll see what he does. But I, I expect him to keep on showing up, honestly. There's Jackson no longer with the team. Rico Gathers, this will be a big year for him because we're going to see, is he... Is he in play to be, you know, quote unquote, the Jason Witten heir to the throne? All right. Had a really good preseason last year and looked like he was going to be on the way, you know, to being in rotation and that kind of thing. But the injury happened, never got back on the field, pretty much was on IR. All right. So big year for him. What is he going to do? Can he replicate that magic? Can can he be another weapon that Dak Prescott can really utilize? I really like Rico Gallagher's size and ability to snatch the ball out of the air. He's got that wide catch radius that I think would bode well for Dak Prescott. All right, and he can get down the field. He's a you know he's a mismatch nightmare. All right, so I want to see what he does. But year three, guys, this is going to be big for these for these players. In particular, you know, obviously Dak Prescott. Really got to see what we have in him. Really got to see what Jalen Smith is going to be um, as well. And uh, some of these other players, we kind of, we're going to find out this year. But year three, got to see that leap. Got to see it, all right? But let me know what you guys think. How, how big of a year three do you think this is for these guys? And who are you hoping really shows up? And really, you know, sets themselves apart from this draft class. All right. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. As usual, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And big shout out to all of you guys for pushing us over the 5,000 subscribers. Appreciate it, man. From the bottom of my heart, you know, from when I started this channel, you know, a little over a year ago to where we're at now, the growth has been exponential. And I just love reading you guys' comments. Everybody has good comments. And, uh, I'm glad that a lot of you guys really enjoy the show, the channel. So shout out to you guys. We'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.